Welcome back to another episode of DIYGolfCar.com. We're continuing our series working on our 2012 EasyGo RSV. Today we're going to remove, clean, and inspect this motor. If everything turns out good, we're going to put it right back. So let's get our tools and get started. this motor we got some connectors here we got to disassemble we got some wires up front here we got to take off and then we'll just unbolt it and slide it off in today's project we'll be using a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet First, we'll put it in the toe. Now, to disconnect all the connectors going to the motor, there are three total. Now, to remove the three main drive cables located at the bottom of the controller. Now to remove the six bolts holding the motor to the transaxle. To remove the motor, give it a little twist and up and down motion and then slide it directly off the input shaft. Now that we've got it inspected and somewhat cleaned, what we're looking for when we inspect it is you want to make sure all these splines in here are in good condition, the teeth here are good, you don't want to see any burnt marks on the windings. And you want to check this face, get it nice and clean, so that when we put it back up against the transaxle, it'll fit flush. Now on the transaxle, we want to check the input shaft here, check the splines on it, clean off the face, and put just a little bit of grease back on the splines so this goes on a little bit easier. Now to reinstall the motor, Slide it directly onto the splines and then make sure you align the bolt holes. Next we want to finger tighten all the bolts. Keep the gap between the motor and the transaxle evenly spaced. When tightening the bolts, first we're going to run our main drive wires back to the front of the golf car at the controller. Next we'll install our cable connectors. not forgetting our motor brake. Now we'll be reinstalling the motor drive cables. Be sure you install them in the correct orientation, matching the blue with the connection labeled W, the yellow to the V, and the green to the U.
When tightening down the cables, make sure not to over tighten them. We just want to snug them down real good. Once we are done, we can put the car back into run. Well, we've had another successful day here at the garage. We've got this motor taken off, cleaned, inspected, and reinstalled. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And for all your golf car parts and accessory needs, look us up, DIYGolfCar.com.